Good morning, YouTube. This is the Ugly Prepper. As you can see, we're still dealing with the bum leg. Uh, but uh, I thought I would uh, actually get on here and make a video today. I'm, I'm feeling better. The leg feels good. I'm just ready to get these staples out so I can walk out. I'm ready to walk. I'm ready to get back outside uh, and do my prepping and... and I'm tired of being in this house. I'm an outdoorsy type, not really a muscular type, but I, if it's tolerable to be outdoors, that is where I want to be is outside. Uh, but uh, today I thought I would make a video uh, and do a little review on this uh, Silky Gone Boy. And this is the... Um, this is the Silky Gone Boy Curve 240B according to the blade that's what this is so you know exactly what i'm talking about here um you say well ugly prepper how can you uh how can you give a a review on a saw and you're sitting here in the house with a broken leg well the answer to that my friends is i had ample time to get out in the woods and use this bad boy before i broke my leg uh and you know Prior to this, all I had was a hatchet, a good hatchet. I have a very good hatchet, good name brand, good hatchet, but uh, that's all I had. I do not have an axe yet. I'm still waiting on that. We're going to make that purchase probably sometime this year. Um, but uh, as far as processing firewood goes, um, This is a game changer when it comes to processing firewood. Um, I had I had, was going to do Corona or some cheaper version. I, you know, I even looked at the ones at Walmart. But everybody, every YouTube channel was talking about the Silkies and how good they are, how easy you can get replacement blades for them. And I'm going to call sometime this year and get me a couple of extra replacement blades. Not that this one's wearing out because it isn't, but because, hey, when I was outside, I was using it a lot. I was using it a bunch. Um, but uh, I thought I would talk about that for a minute. And I made some purchases today, um, and I want to throw out a somebody make a video challenge. And we'll talk about that here in a minute. But uh, this is the Silky Gone Boy. This, y'all, this was over 50 bucks. It wasn't cheap, uh, but it, I love the handle. It's the handle has a good feel. It's uh, it's got a soft, grippy kind of handle on it. It's not hard and slippery, uh, which I find to be very, very good. Um, it's a uh, it's a multi-position blade. That's that's position one right there. And then let me see if I can do this with one hand. Come on. There we go. That's position two. This is my favorite position on this saw. You can really, you can really get some action going in this uh, position two here. So I hope y'all can see this. I'm doing this with the phone, but uh, this is the favorite position, operating position for this saw. And uh, it's it's got a, um, it's easy to fold up. You y'all can see um, maybe. There's still pieces of wood on there from where I used it uh, several weeks ago when I first got it. I took that baby out there and I used it. I processed uh, large dead trees. I would say probably about the size of my shin right here. And I cut the tree down and I processed the whole thing. It was probably 20 foot tree. And I processed the whole thing into firewood in probably 20 minutes. Uh, I was huffing it a little bit, but, uh, hey, I had it processed down to, you know, good size firewood, uh, the whole thing. And man, that, that's, that's awesome. Um, you know, I like the case. I don't keep it in the case a whole lot. Uh, I like it, you know, when I'm outside, this thing is, I like it handy. I like it just like that. Whip it out and go, man. Uh. I've already got so much stuff on my belt. Uh, I mean, I suppose if I was bugging out, I could 
clip it to my backpack or whatever. That would probably be what I do. But um, I like this saw. Man, this saw is a game changer when it comes to creating firewood. And um, I'm not affiliated. I, hell, I'm a new channel. Um, I'm not affiliated with Silky in any way. And I know Silky uh, is uh, probably some, it's made in Japan. It's a Japanese made saw, but everybody said that they were the best. And the getting replacement blades, it was the best. And I have to say, I can't argue with them. Uh, I've used this thing uh, extensively, and it's, man, I like it. Um, I wish I could go out there and use it today. That's how much I like it. Um, but another thing I wanted to talk about today was a purchase I made right before I started this video. I purchased some stackable water containers. They're new. They're supposed to be BPA free and all that. Um, but um, haven't seen much. And y'all, if there's videos out there about this, um, comment them to me. Put them in the comments. That would be great. I would love to go watch these videos. But I purchased some stackable, I believe they're three and a half gallon, um, water storage containers. And, uh, on overstock.com. And, um, so I bought eight of those today. I would like to see some videos, or if there already are some, put them in the comments. But, uh, if, if, if we have no videos, I challenge somebody, some channel uh, that I'm affiliated with, subscribe to, I challenge you to go and research it and make a video about keeping those clean. Uh, I know we're changing the water out every three months is probably it's probably about right. Maybe maybe more than that. Maybe that I'm off. Um. But I would like to see some videos about keeping your water containers clean. I know if you keep watering something enough, it'll start developing a green film or whatever. Um, and these, the, the caps on these things, I can't necessarily get my hand in there to clean it out, you know. So um, I would love to see a video on something to that effect. How to, uh, how to, how to clean or, or maintain stackable water containers. Um... So, I purchased some of those today. Uh, yeah, I'm still prepping, y'all. I'm sitting in a wheelchair, but hey, the world ain't getting in any better shape. That's for doggone sure. Um, and so, I would like to see some uh, some information uh, or a video about that. That's That answers one of my questions. Uh, one of the things I want to talk about. But uh, I also bought me a battery daddy today. Y'all, uh, the suits... Uh, double alt. The sensible prepper did a video on the battery daddy, and I believe I'm sold on it. So I went ahead and purchased one of those today. I keep tons of spare batteries, double A's, one, two, three A's, for my flashlights and uh, optics, and you know all kind of batteries storage. This thing is a battery storage organizer, and so um, went and purchased one of those. Uh, I believe it was. $39 because I opted for the deluxe version. The regular one is $19.99, but I opted for the deluxe version. And um, I went to batterydaddy.com or something. Just go Google Battery Daddy. It'll pull the main page right up. And uh, so I, I purchased one of those. I need some, some way to keep my batteries organized. And uh, I love to keep them, you know. And it's got a tester that comes with it, and uh, so I, I'm really looking forward to that. I believe I can fill that thing up with just what's in one of my drawers in yonder. I've got enough batteries in there balled up that are still in the package. I could probably fill that thing up. Uh, maybe I maybe not probably wouldn't have all the D cells that take to fill it up, but I've got I probably got the double A's to fill it up with. Just a very common battery. Uh, probably don't have the nine volt pleater to fill it up, but, um, that is something I saw that and I, I'm like, I need that thing, y'all. I need it. And, uh, so I went ahead and made that purchase today. We'll do an unboxing on some of this stuff when it comes in. But, uh, 
you know, I've, it's been a pretty week in Alabama. The weather has been beautiful. Uh, I've been able to get outside some. Um, you know, I've been wanting to get out and throw the ball for my dogs, and uh, they're they're outside right now. And uh, but you know, man, I just it's been pretty. It's been a pretty week. I've got things I want to do outside. You know, y'all keep praying for me. The leg is healing up. I'm gonna show you the leg here again. Uh, notice we have some scabs and stuff here now. Still got the staples in, but it's healing. And I'm gonna tell you, the leg feels good. Uh, I put 30 or 40 pounds of pressure on the leg, and other than the staples pulling, you feel that in your skin. Uh, that kind of hurt. But other than the staples, the leg feels good. You know, as long as it don't cave in on me again, y'all pray. But uh, I think when we get these staples out on the 15th, uh, hopefully, if the Lord is willing, uh, I'll be walking in two or three weeks. So y'all just pray for that. Uh, otherwise, y'all, I'm just sitting in here listening to the listening to my scanner this morning. We've uh, uh, organizing some things and just trying to keep my mind active. Tired of sitting in that recliner in yonder. I love my recliner, but uh, I'm tired of sitting in it right now. So we're up and about doing a few things. Uh, Y'all remember me and your prayers. If you ain't got nobody else to pray for, pray for the ugly prepper. God knows I need it. Uh, pray for our nation. Pray for our elected uh, representatives. I do not use the term leaders. We do not have leaders. We have elected representatives. Uh, man, they need guidance. And y'all need to find your representatives and call them and wear them out, man. I mean, that's what's going on this week. There's nothing in the United States Constitution about impeaching a former president. There's nothing in the Constitution that says you can do that. So they're just making it up as they go.